Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Guess the Grade. Tonight I've got two coins for you, both graded by South African grading companies. The one is SACGS and the other one of course by Sangs or South African Numismatic Grading Services. Okay, so let us start with the Sangs coin. Now Sangs as a grading company has definitely improved their reputation in the last few years. Quality of the grading has improved quite, quite a bit and uh, it's um, much more cost effective to send a, uh, send a coin to Sangs than to some of the American grading companies and also it's much easier and quicker to get it back. The turnaround time is quite a bit better. But anyway, let's have a look at this coin. So as always, you have to identify the coin itself. That's the easy part. And then you have to say something about the grade and um, see how accurate you can be. So this is the reverse, of course. Have a look at that. I'm trying to tilt it in the light so you can see as much of it as possible. Trying to uh, go a bit closer. Let's have a look at the obverse. There's the obverse of the coin. Whose portrait is that? What does it say? Have a look at the legend. And of course, lastly, what grade is this? Let's have a look at the reverse again. So this will be coin number one. Okay, so that's coin number one. So I hope you've got your grade ready. Let's have a look at the second one. So this was graded by uh, the South African Coin Grading Services. It's a less known South African grading company. Um, they are a bit trickier to get hold on on, to, on the internet. And um, I've seen not many of their coins lately, but nevertheless, also a South African grading company. Let's have a look at this coin. So we're gonna start with the reverse. There's the reverse of the coin. Okay, let's have a look at the obverse. Having a look at the obverse of the coin. Okay, so I hope you've got your grades ready. Let's start with coin number one. So coin number one, of course, is if we are to identify the coin first, this is a 1927 shilling. Um, and um, the grade for this, of course, is a XF40. So this is a well-worn coin. Um, you can see very little luster that remains. There's a little bit. If you tilt it just right, it's a bit difficult to see it on the camera. But with um, extra fine coins, you sometimes still see a bit of uh, luster of the original luster remaining. But all the high points of the coin has worn. The, coin, the, uh, the wear on the coin is even. And of course, there's no surface hairlines or anything like that on the coin. So in that regard, it, um, it, it's a problem-free coin. But it has it has bought quite a few things in its life, and uh, this is its final resting place. So I hope you got that one right. 1927 shilling, and uh, the grade is XF40. So for coin number two, if you said um, this is a 1931 two shilling, you would be wrong. This is unfortunately. Uh, a counterfeit. So it's a not it's not authentic. It's a 1931 um, two shilling. It's a 1934 shilling, of course, which has been altered. So it's a common alteration where they take a, a 34 shilling or a 31 ticky as well. I have a video of that um, that you can have a look at where they change the four in the 1931 uh, or in the 1934 and they change the four into a one very carefully. And that then gives you a 1931. 
uh, a very well made coin so if you did think this was a 1931 two shilling don't be uh, don't be alarmed this is a really well made uh, counterfeit but anyway 1931 and in terms of quality this will probably also go through as a maybe as an extra fine probably as a very fine um, a very fine plus possibly uh, the war the wear on this coin is quite high it may actually also be a problem coin if you see in the obverse there's quite a bit of uh, surface hairlines and scratches that you can see it might also be um, a possibility that this coin might have been cleaned as well um, because um, because of those uh, those those scratch marks that you do see so it could have been I don't think it was polished but it was probably cleaned as well but uh, nevertheless it's an interesting coin to have because everybody always gets this uh, this fright oh you got a 31 two shilling no unfortunately not anyway that's the two coins for tonight I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this if you want more of these kinds of videos uh, let me know and uh, I'll make uh, I can easily make quite a few few of these for you if you like anyway thanks for watching and happy collecting